All right, great. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. My name is Andreas Huber. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO at First Do. I have um, Kevin Collier from my team here and Rami El Jafani, and it's just great to meet everyone. So what we've done at First Do is we've, we've really reimagined pre-incident planning um, and, and taken sort of a novel approach to solve a problem that I think everyone in the room can agree with is, is, a, is a major challenge. Um, flat out from all of our research and the departments that we work with on a daily basis, no departments are immune based on the size or the geography. Everyone is challenged with collecting data on the structures and occupants you respond to on a daily basis at scale, maintaining or keeping that data up to date, and then how do we effectively make it accessible and usable for the crews in the field? Massive challenge. And so if we sort of dig into that problem or unpack it a bit, the traditional approach of pre-incident planning really has three core fundamental issues to it. The first is from a community risk perspective. It's really about all structures in your response area. It's not just about your commercials, but really your residentials as well. Statistically, that's where the vast majority of our calls take place. That's where the majority of our injuries take place. But really, if you think about the type of information you get about residentials during an incident, it's like this big black hole of information. We don't know necessarily if we're showing up to a mobile home. Is it a 6,000 square foot big home with a pool and a basement, maybe solar panels on the roof, different occupancy considerations, et cetera. Because we can't just simply knock on people's doors, even if we did have the manpower to inspect them, we're left with our commercials. For the, to physically visit all of your commercials on a regular frequency is a massive task. And for departments you know, that are doing a good job, you're usually getting to some subset of those commercial structures where you actually have pre-plans. It's a super time-consuming activity. It can be expensive, and it's just hard to accomplish uh, with standardization. So what we found is departments are doing a good job that literally feel like, hey, we're collecting a lot of great info. You know, it's usually on a, 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 in a format that is only useful on maybe your second alarms or greater when you have more time. It's a static PDF that maybe gets associated on a map. It's paper-based that goes in a filing cabinet or in a binder. Or maybe it goes into a digital filing cabinet inside a static caution note or premise warning. Right? And so in contrast to this, what we should all strive for is to have actionable data on every structure for nearly every call we go on. And that's sort of what a modern sort of thought process to our response should be as it relates to pre-incident planning. So if we were going to build a solution using modern tools to accomplish this, we've talked a lot about data today. Um, Jack talked about sort of persistent intelligence, right? So how could we accomplish those things? Well, we know where a lot of this critical data lives. You've got awesome information property records inside an assessor, county assessor, city assessor. We have Building departments make publicly accessible data around permits, inspections, violations. We talked about social media, Waze, Twitter, etc. Your own records management system, your own hazmat databases, wealth of information. And then, of course, our open data platforms, ArcGIS and some others, different geospatial data, right? So what First Do is actually accomplishing is programmatically, in an automated way, connecting into these different data sources. No additional work by your teams. Bring it all into one central cloud-based location, tying it together to the address and geospatially on a map. And from there, we can't forget about collecting data ourselves in the department, right? So we give you a super easy to use pre-planned mapping and data collection tool, something that your line crews will actually use in the field and be happy to use. And then we open up um, a, a solution called Community Connect to the public. Think about it like custom forms that you make available to residents to claim their residence, communicate different emergency contact info, or you know, disabled uh, occupant information. My, my mother lives with us and is in oxygen. Uh, facility managers and business owners, commercial business owners, can actually update a lot of that information, crowdsource it. You can even enable them to pre-plan their own buildings or businesses. And so all of that is going to be made available anytime, anywhere as a modern cloud-based application. But we've sort of done a great job now. We've aggregated all this data. That's awesome. And Chief uh, made a great point earlier today, but how do we make it sort of usable for the folks in the field, the company officer? You know, too much data, we all know, is too much data. We don't want to just get 
hit in the face with information we can't do anything with. It defeats the whole purpose. So what we have to do is we have to actually make it easily accessible. It has to slip right into the operation. It has to be usable on all the different screens that we're already using today and maybe some more, either at the PSAP, at the station, on my MCTs, on a mobile device, or maybe even at home if Chief wants to monitor calls at times. So second component is translating that information. So we cover on, off on all those use cases, right? So as a cloud-based, uh, fully responsive web application, it can be accessed as a simple shortcut on the desktop. It's fully responsive, so it looks and feels exactly the same on a smaller screen. We're even making it easy to consume right within mobile CAD. So your teams, at times, may not even realize they're interacting with another application. All of this great data condensed into a single page view that's customized to your SOGs and SOPs and translated using modern iconology. So if I'm bouncing down the road in a truck, I can literally pick up some information even if the screen's moving with a glance at the screen. A lot of that great data that we're aggregating and translating can also be shared back to a CAD map or to an ArcGIS Esri base map in the form of layers. So all that great data in one spot surfaced and translated into a way that's custom to your department, shared as a layer in a CAD map or an Esri base map, automated. And then mobile responder, some customers want to be able to actually use mobile responder technology with all that great data in a mobile app experience on iOS, easy access to that condensed page, and Android as well. And another super easy to use tool, just tapping on a screen to do my map markers, update my maps in real time, and collect the data I need. NFPA standard icons, as well as custom ones, and then supporting multi-level pre-planning. I know where my standpipes are, which stairwells, and where the valves are, different levels um, of intelligence. Easy to collect, easy to consume in seconds in the field. And then lastly, of course, Community Connect. So thank you much, very much, everybody. I'll pass it off to Sanjay. Thank you.